What is salvation? Salvation is not about God improving your life, developing your life. It's about you receiving the life of God. It's not about God extending your life for all eternity. It's about, that's what eternal life is. Eternal life is Jesus Christ Himself received inside of you. And so, mo nang ingon si Jesus, unless you lose your life, you cannot find life. Those who stubbornly hold on to their lives, they will not find life. But if you are willing to lose your life, you will find life. So ang Christian life is, terminate sa ginoo ang imong old na nature, imong old na identity, ang old na self, and gupulihan with the life of Christ. So that's what salvation is. Uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer is a German uh, pastor during the times of uh, rainy Hitler, so World War II. And he was a man of God during those turbulent kaya nga mga times. And he wrote, When God calls a man, He bids him to come and die. <laughs> and that is salvation. We come before the Lord and we lose ang atong identity. And in the process, we find our true identity in Him. Amen? And so, can I... Can we share, can we read Genesis chapter 2, verse 9? Here ani nga scripture, sa book of Genesis, makita nato diri ang origins of life, ang creation of life. And here sa chapter 2, you see here nga, God planted a garden. The Lord Himself planted a garden for man. It's a beautiful garden. I can imagine. And in the middle of the garden, notice, huh? In the middle. It's a very important place. These two trees, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life. These two trees are very important. It's in the middle of the garden. Can we read verse 9 of chapter 2? And the Lord made God, the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So here's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and here's the tree of life. These two trees actually this represents two ways of living. Two, two kinds of Christianities, I might say. Doha ka classing nga Christianity. There's a Christianity nga lives, feeds, and lives and ministers under the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But there's also a kind of Christianity and lives under the tree of life. And I pray nga makadistinguish ta. What are we feeding? Unsa atong ginakaon? Are we eating from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Or are we eating from the tree, from the fruit of the tree of life? Unsa ang atong gikabusgan? Asa ta nabusog? Where do we find fulfillment and satisfaction? Because canning tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now we know how it happened. Canning a story here. Unfortunately, man chose to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And what happened? You know, canning siya nga act of disobedience. Dili naman siya kay simple nga disobedience lang ah, pwede lang pa When man ate of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, Something changed sa nature sa tao. The fundamental nature of man was change. Ang seed of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil became the nature of man. Na usab ang tao. It's not a simple matter of disobedience. Like if I say to my kids, "Dili magkaw ice cream before dinner, ha? Kaya mawala ang inyong appetite." 
Eh, nangaon gyud sila ice cream. Oh, manong wa mo appetite. Ay, pa nangaon mi ice cream busog kay mi. And I say sorry and I forgive. Wala man sila na change. But this, this act by Adam na change ang fundamental nature sa tao. The Lord said, if you eat of that tree, you will die. What happened? Pagkaon ni Adam o ni Eve, nangatumba ba sila? No. Naginhawa maghihapon sila. Anak siguro si Adam, wala man lang kita namatay. Kalipungon ka? Katumbahon ka? Wala man. No. They were talking. In fact, they live up to 930 or 950 years. They live long. But something died. Ang iyahang spirit na usab ang nature sa tao. Man became flesh. This is why in, in Genesis chapter 6, look at Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with man forever, for he is mortal, his days will be 120 years. Look it up sa, in a, sa King James. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. This is the proper word. Flesh. Man became flesh. In Adam. But, this is why Jesus came. In the book of Romans, we are told, through the cross, we've been taken out of Adam and placed into Christ. You're no longer in Adam. You are now in Christ. That's Romans chapter 5. But if you go to Romans chapter 8, he says it another way. Look at Romans chapter 8. So Romans chapter 8, verse 9. Look it up sa King James. Or sa ESV. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. The moment you got saved, wala na ka in the flesh, you are now in the Spirit. Para atong problem is, na anad tag kinabuhi sa flesh. Kaniyad to, sa wala pa ta in Christ, flesh gita. But karun, we are now in the spirit, but sometimes we live the same way we lived before. Kaya anad ta. Kaya anad ta. Self-sufficient, self-determining, self-centered. Now what happened when Adam ate sa tree of the knowledge of good and evil? What happened? Nahimo silang self-sufficient o self-determining. Look it up sa, uh, balik ta sa Genesis chapter 3. So Genesis chapter 3, verse 22. And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. That's the NIV. So here, nakakaon na si Adam ang si Eve. Something happened when they ate. It says in the scriptures, their eyes were opened and they were ashamed. Because they realized they were naked. And gitabun-tabun na nila yung ilang mga bodies with fig leaves. And they hid behind the trees and behind the grass. Because they were ashamed. What happened? The glory that once clothed them, nawala. They entered into a whole new realm. Na open ang ilang mata into a whole new realm. Wherein sila ang magdetermine sa ilahang destiny. So, ang choice between the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was a choice, is the Lord going to be my sufficiency or am I going to be self-sufficient? Will the Lord determine my destiny or, or I will determine my destiny? So, mona ang choice. But here's a verse 22, ang ginoo naglament, man has now become like one of us knowing good and evil. Ang tao, magbuot na. 
I don't need you, Lord. I know what's good. I know what's evil. I will do what's good. I will shun from evil. I will do what's good. I'll do, I'll do good for you. <laughs> this is the effect of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And so what did the Lord say? He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. Dili pwede nga mukaon ang tao in his fallen state. Kaya kung mukaon siya sa tree of life as a fallen, corrupted nga humanity, he will remain that way forever. And so what did the Lord do? So verse 23, So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. So ang reason nga nung gibanish from Eden, dili ito kay nasuko ang ginawa nga, hawa mo dili? No. It's to protect them. They cannot eat from the tree of life. It's because of the love of God nagipagawa sila sa garden. Otherwise, otherwise will I hope. And so the Lord God banished them. So verse 24, after he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flushing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. So man is outside in the garden and butang ang Lord of cherubim is an angel. And then a flaming sword flushing back and forth. Muranig makita ni mong sa kanang mga salida bitaw nga science fiction. A flaming sword nga nag parawara. <laughs> There's a sword nga dili pwede. Access is denied to the tree of life. So for thousands of years, ang tree of life was denied access sa mga tao. Mubasa ka sa history sa tao, you see people operating under the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And then one day, something happened. The tree of life was once again offered to humanity in the form of Jesus Christ. That's why you see Jesus, eat my flesh. I am the bread of life. If you eat my, my flesh, if you drink my blood, you have life. Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life. Let's look at John chapter 6, uh, verse 57. So John chapter 6, verse 57. Look what Jesus said. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. Notice ka ng word na feed. Feed. Continuous. You feed on me, you will live. It says because of me. Actually, ang uh, King James mas tama aning a translation. If you look it up sa, sa dictionary. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. You know, see Jesus here? I live by the Father. I live by the Father. I do nothing except what I see my Father doing by myself. I can do nothing. I only do what I see my Father doing. And the words I say are not my own. It's the Father living in me. He's the one doing His work. It's not me. It's the Father living in me. I can do nothing by myself. It's the Father living in me. I live by my Father. He's the one working through me. I don't do anything by myself. I see him doing and I do what he's doing. I live by him. And you who feed on me, you will live by me. Even as I live by my father, you will live by me. Because I live in you, I will be your life. Even as the father is my life living in me, you are my expression. I will live through you. I will be your life. If you feed on me, 
Notice ka ng feed. Kani nga uh, biological need to eat. In sa bato asa to adiri buka on a once a month lang. Murag sawah. Ang makatulon og manok. Usa na nakabulan matulog sa lasang. After one month, uh, you go to... Human beings, we eat every day. Nga dilipod once a day. Dilipod three times a day. Okay, between breakfast and uh, lunch, gutumun man ta. <laughs> Unya, before dinner, somewhere sa hapon, gutumun po ta. Unya, pagka midnight, gutumun pag yun. Midnight snack pag yun. Gidesign gira nga tong physical nga body to eat continually. It is the same with our need for the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Ingon si Jesus, ako ang imong real food. I am your real food. I can imagine who's in Hitabuduri. Can you read verse 53? Let's read verse 53 all the way down. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you have no life in you. Can you imagine ako sa hunahuna sa mga Jew? You can read down kung ato gini basahon the whole chapter. They were so angry. They were arguing. They were they were so ang suko sila. Ako yung sige ingon yah. Muka ang unod tap unod sa tao kinsa unod yah unod yaks. Unya pa imnon pagi tap dugo bawal man ang mo inom ang dugo kaog dugo dugo sa tao ato imnon ako yung unod sa mana. Siguro si Peter nangalot na siya ang ulo, Lord, nga nung imo mo nag-itudlo, Lord. Di na na mamalik. Di Lisod ka na ng teaching. But Jesus said this, Kita karon who live after the cross, we understand Jesus is talking about the cross because on the cross, did to ang body was broken, the blood was shed. Jesus is talking about the cross and shall feed on me. You will live by me if you feed by, you know, on me. Verse 54, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Verse 55, For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Oh, ipaningot silang Pedro. But how many of us understand ang atong kagutom Dili nato tagbawon sa tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Ang atong kagutub dito nato busgon sa tree of life. There's a big difference. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you know what's good and what's evil. You know. This is bad. This is good. I know. Na na sa Bible, this is good. I will try to do this good, and I will refrain from doing this for you, Lord. <laughs> Prayer is good, not praying is bad. I will pray for you, Lord. Nindot na? I will do this for you. That, my friend, is the wrong tree. Wrong tree. Much of Christianity today is feeding and living from the wrong tree. We are not called to invite people to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Dili na mga tong calling. As if the knowledge of good and evil will change people. LGBT is bad. Straight is good. As if ma change na sila with the knowledge of good and evil. Stand for the truth. Sunuga na mga Nike di ang mga shoes, o t-shirt. Sunuga na tanan. Let's stand for the truth. Knowledge of good and evil. Friends, we are called to minister life. We're not ministers of the knowledge of good and evil. We're ministers of life. We are called to invite people to eat the fruit of life. Amen. 
You know, I am Dili ko kasabot. Why? Many pastors don't understand. Right after the comment to ni our good congressman, I will vote for our congressman. But after he made that analogy, nga ang mga gays are worse than animals. You know, I, I was talking to a pastor. He said, you know, what Pacman said is right. Animals can distinguish male and female. Gays, their males are attracted to males and their females are attracted to females. They are worse than animals. Animals are better. She go, Pastor, that is a mistake. That is a mistake. I know a lot of straight people. Men who are not attracted to men, no matter kung sa kahansang, kahangkog, mas, digit matrakog men, I know a lot of them who are overly attracted to women. And you know what Jesus said, Pastor? If you look at a woman and aka inappropriate desires, you are in danger of hell. You are worthy of hell. Better pluck out your eyes than have complete eyes and go to hell. That's what Jesus said. Pastor, if you ever nice sexing a girl and you have an inappropriate thoughts, you are worse than an animal. Don't ever think that ang mga gays need Jesus more than you. We all need Jesus. We all are worse than animals. We all need Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the cross. So, here's the problem. Christians minister from the wrong tree. Christians are ministering the knowledge of good and evil instead of life. What's the difference? What's the difference? We, we must counter the LGBT agenda. We must stand for the truth. <laughs> Dangerous getting LGBT agenda. <gasps> we must fight. <laughs> what is the LGBT agenda? Unsa man ang LPGT? Liquid petroleum gas tank? <clears throat> My daughter asked one. Pa, ano pala yan? Liquid petroleum gas tank, LPGT, according to Ma'am Donna. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. How do we address their agenda? What is their agenda? It boils down to a cause. They are fighting for recognition and acceptance and validation. And they believe na kung ma-legalize ang same-sex marriage, finally, we are recognized. Finally, we are accepted by society. Finally, our longing for recognition and acceptance. Wala ko na suko, ha? Suko na ko. Ha? Okay. <laughs> Listen. What does it look like for us to minister life? We invite people to Jesus. Because in Jesus, you have a Father who accepts you and who recognizes you. He accepts you not because high achiever ka, not because the gun kagna accomplish. He accepts you and he delights in you simply because of who you are. And that is why Jesus came. Uniting himself with you so that his Abba is now your Abba. And the recognition that you are looking for all your life. It's in Abba. You have a father. And I recognize Nemo. You have a father. 
It's not by legalizing, changing mga balaod sa Pilipinas. This acceptance that we are looking for, it's found in Him. Tanan na itong mga needs. There was a study on human needs by Abraham Maslow, and he identified gandun ay mga hierarchy of needs. That's what, he, that's what he called it. Hierarchy of needs. You remember ang inyong, uh, where is that thought? So, Sociology or what? Psychology. Hierarchy of human needs. What's the highest need? Self actualization. Significance. <laughs> it's only found in Jesus. It's met in Him. In Christ, you experience a Father who thinks you're okay. That's why we, kanang song na tong, uh, Abba, I belong to you. That's actually taken from, there's a Roman Catholic priest, and he's one of my favorite king authors, Brandon Manning. Abba, I belong to you. Nasha book, uh, Abba's Child. Uh, Child of Abba. And he wrote, as a testimony. And he was talking to, counseling a woman. As a, a, a woman, as a little girl, she was abused by a relative, sexually molested. And she grew up all her life nga, disturbed. Grabe ang iyaha mga sufferings. Depression, severe kayo nga, inferiority, insecurity. And you know what this priest advised? Ingon, ang, ingon si Father Brennan, here's a prayer I would like you to pray. Will you pray this for nine months straight? Repeat this prayer every few minutes. Let no hour pass by without saying this prayer several times. What is that prayer? Abba, I belong to you. Say it again and again. Ingon ing a woman, for the first few weeks, it didn't make sense. It felt so empty. Abba, I belong to you. Abba, I belong to you. But after so many times, finally it broke in. Abba, I belong to you. 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 In Christ, you have a father. That longing for a recognition, a what good ni mo na, na experience, kanang a recognition can only be given by a father, not by society, not by the government. Kanang a recognition can only be given by a father who recognizes you and admire you and adore you and love you, treasure you, cherish you. Kanang acceptance only be given by a father that's why Jesus came that we may know the true face of God we minister life we minister Christ delete the knowledge of good and evil hoy kanang pagka lesbian that's bad hoy kanang pagka gay that's evil do you think they might change Word of God says, the law is the power of sin. When the commandment came, sin sprung to life. The more must strengthen ang enemy. The more must distort ang humanity. The more we minister the knowledge of good and evil. Much of Christianity today cannot distinguish between the two trees. Much of Christianity today is feeding from the wrong tree, eating, satisfying, meeting their needs from the wrong tree. But it is so how sad. And I pray that you would recognize the difference. Amen. If I preach to you here tonight and say, be zealous for the Lord, 
never be lacking in zeal be zealous your passion is your power be zealous let's be zealous for the Lord because if you are zealous you are not going to be leaders in your worship town you are going to be a leader 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 Mau makan ke worship? Di kegenangan segino? Hah? Nak kalau kau kasih segino? Hah? We are ministering the wrong fruit, the wrong tree. But if we minister Christ and we catch a glimpse of the beauty of Jesus and we are touched by His longing for us. His passion for us. Not our passion. His passion. It's only but natural. How can you not be amazed? Who am I that you would like me? Who am I that you would call my name? Kana nga passion will flow from within you like rivers flooding your soul. Let's learn to distinguish. Amen, Bara. Between these two trees. Hallelujah. What does it mean to feed? It means that our needs are met in Him. Jesus is the fulfillment and the satisfaction of our hunger. It's a person. Pwede man nga ang akong satisfaction is in the works that I do. Labi na kita mga men. Mga accomplisher man ta. Mga doer man ta. And if you have so many ministries and you have so many accomplishments, oh, tagaan kag trophy sa imong leader. Let's give a plaque of appreciation to Raymond McKean. Ha, 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 ha. And so your need for significance is met by your works. And you're motivated to do more works para more trophies and more daghan sila ganahan mga girls. Let us not feed on the wrong tree. That's what scriptures calls flesh. Flesh. What's the difference between walking in the flesh and walking in the spirit? Walking in the flesh is you meet your needs apart from Christ. That need for belongingness, that need for security, that need for assurance, that need for recognition, significance. You attempt to meet by some other means. But what if you discover? What if you spend time and you come before Him and you allow Him to meet that need? Need not over security. We are anxious. We are worried. We are thinking of the future. Saan na lang? Crisis ang Pilipinas. Saan na lang? Grabe ka kurap ang mga liga. Saan na lang future? Huwag pagani ka na minyo na kuna-una na kasi mo. You are thinking of what will it be like tomorrow? You worry. In Christ, you have a father. In Christ, you have a daddy who thinks about you. You have a father. And kanang finances, gamay rakin ang problema sa iya. Pwede siya magsukog, uwak, magdala, o one million, ipugpad ha sa iya. He can do that. How he provided Kung unsa ang Father kang Jesus, how the Father took care of Jesus, you in Jesus, you will experience the very same nurture and the same care. One time, no balaka sila, ha, saan mo tagibayar o buhis? Where will we get money to pay taxes? We don't have money. Nakay money? What will money? Ikaw, wala. Wala unsa ang money. You know what Jesus said? Pedro, hala pang mingwit dito. Pag-ana ni Pedro, Naay tilapia. 
lilipan tatha tilapia. And pagkuha ni Peter sa tilapia, there in the mouth of the tilapia was one drachma. Exactly what they need. Giyon sa matong tilapia, asa ah, matong tilapia gikan. Probably ang tilapia nang suri-suri dito ilalom sa lake ng ita o nangalog dito kas. But your father knows how to take care of you. Ang atong need for security, ang atong need for assurance, let it be met in Christ. Not by your ability, not by your pagkabrightog sa imong gimmick. Okay, mas stress na lang tana. Let us stop eating from the wrong tree and let us learn to feed. That's what Jesus used kanang a word, feed on me. Because if you feed on me, you will live by me. What does it mean to live by Him even as Jesus lived by the Father? You live by Him. Even as the Father was the life of Jesus, living in Jesus, doing the works that you see Jesus is doing. So the question is, under the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the question is, what good will I do for God? What evil will I refrain and stop doing? And what good will I do for God? The knowledge of good and evil. It's the tree of morality. Very attractive. Morang lamik gini ka unong dirigyuta. Under the tree of life. Lahi ang question. It's not what I will do for God. It's what is He doing. I do what He is doing. It changes your definition of success. It changes everything. It's about Jesus living in you, being Himself in you and through you as you rest on Him and depend on Him. And so, ang tree of the knowledge of good and evil, money ang source of so many family breakups, so many conflicts. If you examine an argument, one person says, No, kani ang tama, kani ang mali. And this person says, No, kana mali na. Kani ang tama. No, kani ang tama, kana ang mali. And no, no, kana ang mali, mani, tama ni. So, they both have knowledge of what's good and what's evil. But what if these two people would say, Okay, okay, let's stop operating under a tree of knowledge of good and evil. Let's operate under life. Regardless whether you're wrong or not, I love you, I recognize you, I accept you, I see you for who you really are. Amone ang secret sa happy a marriage. Because na ako knowledge of what's good and what's not, and na po siya iyahang knowledge, aman clash! Kung mag-clash na ng duha ka knowledge, there's accusation and there's condemnation and there's judgment. But what if, <clears throat> okay, bisag malig yung ka, in my opinion, I recognize you. You are wonderfully made by our Father. I recognize you. I stop insisting sa akong right to be right. And I choose life. Amen? So much of Christianity today operates, feeds, and ministers from the wrong tree. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But friends, the tree of life has been offered to us. The tree of life is inside of you. The tree of life is not far away. For thousands of years, the so old covenant era, the tree of life was not accessible. You look, you read mga Old Testament ng mga accounts. Those were people who did not have the indwelling life. They did not have. Ayaw pagbasa diha, makikata kag kang, kang Daniel. Uy, gusto yu ko mapareha kang Daniel, oh. Hmm. No, Daniel was a type of Jesus. It was a picture of Jesus. Kabasa na po kang David. Uy, gusto po kumahimaw pa rin David. No. David was a picture, a foreshadow of Jesus. Imperfect. Kaya daghang mga mali sa David. Now the Lord Himself, the tree of life, 
is accessible to us. The life of God in receivable form. Pwede ni mo kaunan. Eat. So when we sing those songs, Abba, I belong to you, we are eating. We are allowing Him to fill that hunger for assurance, a hunger for 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 security, a hunger for belongingness, and a hunger. Amen. Can we sing that song? Abba, I belong. Maria 